the project of super intelligence should not be about replacing or threatening our species. Like that should just be taken for granted. And it's crazy to have to actually declare that. Mustafa Suleiman, head of Microsoft AI, recently talked about ASI, artificial super intelligence. He's not wrong. We should be more concerned about creating super intelligence. If Microsoft is concerned, shouldn't we be more concerned? Is this a case of Microsoft's writer remorse? There's a very clear test. Does this technology make us all healthier, happier as a species and keep us all in control? Suleiman says it's different because they'll be creating humanist super intelligence. He's saying all the right buzzwords. We are not taking risks with creating a super intelligence that has the capacity to, say, for example, recursively self improve. Except they will. Aspects of recursive self improvement are going to be present in all the models that get designed by the cutting edge labs, but they're more dangerous capabilities. So, which is it? You're not building these capabilities, or you are, and you'll just be more careful. What are the guidelines to being careful in this new sphere? And I have a bigger question. Why build super intelligence at all? I don't think that we'll be able to understand it down to the atomic or the neuronal or to, you know, the lowest possible levels. And so the judgment call is going to be about when do we have sufficient understanding? We're building something we don't fully understand. And we'll make a judgment call when it's safe enough. And just to be clear to all my accelerationist friends listening, I am a technology accelerationist. Mustafa Suleiman is right about one thing. Super intelligence is a risk to humans, but we're full throttle on our way toward building it. It's crazy he has to say it. And it's even crazier that he's saying it while building it. So what's next?